for years. So thank you so much. Um, let's see. Uh, as, uh, as Dave mentioned, we'll try to walk through uh, what we see a little bit. Uh, we won't uh, take that much time because uh, we could spend literally all day looking at these videos, and some of us have uh, spent all the weekend looking at these videos. Uh, but we'll just try to show you some highlights of uh, what we've been seeing and uh, invite you all to continue to look for more things as we kind of see new things every time we look at these videos. Um, so let's start with the uh, parachute uplift camera, and let me uh, give you a quick warning to not blink because uh, things go really fast here. You can see that uh, you can get a sense really of how violent that parachute deploy and inflation are. Uh, the parachute pack, it's, the parachute is, is packed so densely that the uh, pack is basically the same density as oak, um, and it's about 150 pounds. It gets launched out of the spacecraft uh, with a mortar, which is basically a cannon, uh, with a muzzle velocity of around 100 miles an hour. And the spacecraft itself was going about 1,000 miles an hour at this point, uh, going about 1.75 times the speed of sound. So just in case you blink, let's show you that one more time. You kind of see that in, uh, in high speed and then, or real time, and then we'll slow it down and take a look at the details. Okay, so let's try to walk through this a bit slower, uh, this time at about a quarter speed, and we'll pause at times to point out things we see. So let's start that rolling. Okay, here you can see the pack getting pushed out of there. Uh, you can kind of see the pack right in the middle uh, as it's being pushed, uh, and the, uh, the, the parachute lid, which is right on top of it, it's kind of that circle to the left of the pack, uh, was on top of the pack, and um, it, was, it was there to protect the parachute during entry. It's got some thermal protection system material on it uh, to keep the parachute nice and cool and protected. Uh, and the pack is used to push that lid right off the vehicle, uh, given that cannon force. You can also see some of the other uh, things that have popped off of that lid, uh, which is kind of expected given how violent this, uh, this launch really is. Uh, so let's move on from here. So we keep going out here, you can see the pack reach what we call line stretch. So that's as far as it's going to go. It's uh, where the parachute's going to start inflating. Um, that's about 150 feet behind the spacecraft, and it got there in just under one second. So this pack is really moving. Um, that's pretty much, uh, as the parachute starts to come out, you can see the pack is rotated about 90 degrees. That's pretty common. Uh, we've seen that in, uh, in some of our testing here on Earth at high altitude as well. Uh, so let's keep going and take a look at the inflation. So that inflation really looks textbook. Uh, it's nice and symmetric. Uh, the parachute opens in only about seven-tenths of a second, again, really fast. Um, there's no evidence of tangling of the lines, which is great. Um, that's, uh, there's about two miles of lines in the parachute system, uh, so the fact that we don't see any evidence of tangling or any kind of other misbehavior uh, is great news. And I'm sure we'll be studying this video uh, for many, many years and uh, picking it apart frame by frame. And of course, we have a second uh, camera on board as well that recorded this, uh, this launch and inflation of the parachute. Um, you might notice the pattern that's on the, uh, the parachute here. The sync patterns are useful in helping us determine the clocking or orientation of the parachute. Also, the contrasting sections can be useful in tracking different positions of the parachute, different portions of the parachute as it inflates. Um, so it's especially useful when we have multiple cameras, as we do here, and are trying to track features in the parachute inflating. Um, in addition to enabling incredible science, we hope our efforts and our engineering can inspire others. Sometimes we leave messages in our work for others to find for that purpose. So we invite you all to uh, give it a shot